this lighting is just so typical British summer. Uh, yes, it is that one time a year. That one time a year I decided to sit down and do a monthly favourite or a yearly favourite. This time, this favourite is going to be a holy grail favourite. So this is literally products and items and food and random objects that I have been using throughout my entire year since the last time I did my favourites video. So I'm not going to waffle on for too long, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first thing that I've actually been loving is a bit of a random favourite really, but it has become a holy grail ever since Easter. Now this is kind of one of those favourites that's a bit weird, but if you can, if you're like a tea lover or you appreciate tea and just like weird teas, you're gonna freaking love this. And that is this. This is Bluebird Company, is it called? Yeah, Bluebird Tea Mixologists in the flavour Nest Eggs. Nest Eggs. Oh my gosh, this tea is amazing. It's exactly like Easter nests. It tastes like chocolate, it tastes like wheat, it tastes like marshmallows, it tastes like everything. It just tastes just like Easter morning, you're waking up, you fancy just a really sickly breakfast and you go and grab one of your mum's nest eggs. That sounds like it should be dirty but it's not. But yes, this tea I actually discovered, I stumbled across one of Zoella's videos and I'm not a massive lover of favourites. I do like them every now and then but I was just really in the mood for a favourites video and I stumbled across her Easter favourites and she did actually mention the nest eggs or Easter, sorry, Easter egg nest tea. I didn't really take any note of it, I was just like, oh it looks nice, etc, moving on. Until I stumbled across the tea shop. So I went to Brighton to visit recently and um, I was walking down the lanes and I came across the Bluebird Tea Mixologist tea shop um, and I actually went inside because I was looking at getting, well they had a tea flavour called um, birthday cake and it smelt amazing. But then I noticed that they had the Easter egg nest on the counter and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the tea that Zoella mentioned. So I did actually go and purchase that and I have not been back. It's fantastic. It just looks so cool. It's got marshmallows in it and it's just so colourful. It just looks absolutely amazing. So yes, that's my tea favourite of the year. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. I don't know how many hundreds you can get in a hundred. A hundred and five percent. Next favourite is more of a medicinal favourite. I've recently had my wisdom tooth coming through and oh my gosh guys, if you've, if you've had your wisdom tooth come through, you will feel the pain. You will understand the pain that is a wisdom tooth erupting out of your mouth. Oh my gosh, I don't know how babies do it. But anyway, aside from the ibuprofen and the nurofen and all the painkillers I can get my hand on, the natural remedy uh, I was actually looking up online and that is this. Now you'll have to excuse the bit of the grimy bottle. I did actually spill some of the oil on the bottle, but it is, oh, that's focusing. it's clove oil. Um, and this stuff's amazing. Now, the thing online said that you're actually supposed to put this on your gum, but oh my gosh, it's just too intense. It's too much, it's disgusting. So I just basically um, applied this to a cotton, cotton, cotton ball, and I just applied it onto my cheek and it really soothed, and oh my gosh, such a pain relief. I just had to put it in my favorites. If you're suffering with any wisdom tooth, or even any achy pain, get some clove oil, Put it on the pane and it will just numb it. It just numbs it. Favourite number three is actually something that I have been religiously using every single day. Every day this thing does not go anywhere without me and if I've not got it with me, I feel naked. Absolutely naked. <coughs> that is my Ted Baker bag. This thing has been a holy grail for the past year. I got it last year for my 21st birthday. I thought, damn, I'm gonna treat myself. This has been with me literally on my side for the last year. It's just perfect. It's got pockets where I need them. It's real leather. It's battered, it's bruised. It's just, it's been through the war. It's just been through the war, but do you know what? 
I love it. I love it so, so, so much. <laughs> My next favourite's a bit unpresentable, if I'm going to be honest. Um, it was in my ironing pile and I thought I'd ironed it and basically apparently I wore it again because I love it so much and this morning when I was getting all my favourites ready to go I was like oh my gosh no I've not ironed it I need to get to work and then I need to come back and film this video and it's not ironed so you'll have to excuse that but it is my less Monday more unicorn t-shirt excuse the wrinkles oh my gosh you guys can I just explain how flipping awesome this is I made this, I actually made this, kinda, and I will link, well, do you know I might actually do a video about it. Leave in the description, leave in the comments below if you want to see a, a tutorial on how to make t-shirts like this because it's an old way of doing it, but I feel like it's been totally overlooked over the years and people seriously need to get back into doing it because it was so easy, so fun, and bitch, I get a unique t-shirt that no one else has got that says, Less Monday, more unicorn. I mean, enough said. Mason jars. Mason jars are a favorite of mine and they always will be. Till the end of time, mason jars will always be a favorite. Why? Because they're amazing. Who doesn't love a good mason jar? They make your standard tat that you've got in a plastic jar look classy in a nice glass mason jar. I have used these for presents. I have used these for just my whole kitchen is just full of mason jars. It seems a bit silly raving about them, but everyone loves a good mason jar. Who doesn't like mason jars? And they're so easy to get nowadays as well. I mean, you get them from Yankee Candles. I got these ones um, that I store my uh, sugar, teas and coffee in from a charity shop. I think they cost like two pound each, I think they were. And I just, I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those. I've used them for um, storing shower stuff. I've used them for everything. You guys who know me well will know I love a mason jar. Now this next favourite is a bit random, but it means the world to me. And it's something, again, I've used all the time throughout the whole year and just ever since I've started YouTube, really. And that is notebooks. Now I've had, this is my second notebook. My previous notebook was given to me from, as a gift for my 21st and I used it all the time. But I am going to be doing a video about this at some point, but I am going to, well, I'm getting something for my birthday, which this actually matches. Um... So I'll just leave that little hint there for you. But yeah, this notebook, oh my God, I love this so much. It says grand plans and it basically is just a simple lined notebook uh, by Valentina Leather. Um, I'm guessing that's Italian. It was actually bought me as a pre-birthday gift from my partner. Um, and I just love these so much. I just, those, of you that do YouTube or just write things down or people just love stationery notebooks are the best you can you can personalize them they just get and the more you write in them the more personalized they get and I just love them so much there is nothing like sitting down with an idea and writing it in a book and then once it's come to life going on to the next page and just you, you're you have just a whole book of ideas that have come to life that was way too soppy Moving on, after eight mints. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't know if you can get these all over the world, but here in the UK, after eight mints are a national treasure. They're the type of mint that no one likes, apart from me, but everyone knows about them. And for some reason, they're still around. And I just am obsessed with after eight mints. Now, I totally forgot about these. I thought these, I thought these had dropped off the radar. The amount of people I hear saying, oh, I don't like after eight mints, they're just disgusting. I love after eight mints. These were always a childhood favorite of mine. Love, love, love that soft minty flavored texture. Oh, it's just a gooey minty center. So good. Until recently when my partner was actually given some of these as a gift and he's just like, damn, I do not like these at all. And I've been all over these. Like I've literally, I've nearly finished them. They're just so flipping good. And I'm just surprised that they're even still around, but I love them and I'm so glad and there, they're just, I had to work them into a favourite just because they're a classic English treat and they're just amazing. They're just amazing. They're just the perfect palette cleanser. And my final favourite, total random favourite, but you can't not love this. If you are from England or Britain or wherever you're from, around the UK, you will love this. And that is Liam Perring's Worcestershire Salt. Like, is that Worcestershire? Well, sister shot. 
I can't even say it. Worcester sauce. It's Worcester sauce. And now, if you, I've recently got into cooking recently, and this makes a cooking. This, 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 this makes a cooking. Girl, I need to talk English. This makes a meal. Like, if your meal is starting to go a bit bland, add some Worcester sauce, it's amazing. It spices it, it makes it that nice warmth. It just makes it taste like mum used to. I don't know if you'll understand that, that phrase, but th for those of you that know what mum's cooking is like, you need to add Worcester sauce because it, it will be in there somewhere. There hasn't been a cooking session that involves meat or gravy or just your standard warming British dinner that hasn't involved Worcester sauce. So there you go guys, that was my random favourites for this month. Um, I do actually really love making these videos, um, but I just forget about them. I just forget favourites or a video that I do sometimes when I feel like them. I just have like having enough favourites, but then when I get up to doing it, I'm just like, oh my god, there's so much stuff. I, mean, I could have added so much more into it, but I was just like, no, let's keep the video to a minimal. Let's pace ourselves. So that's it for this week's video. Be sure to give it a like subscribe and a comment leave in the comments below what you want to see next week and just for future videos or even in my favorites and if you ever actually use any of these because I would love to know especially give the tea a go because this is my favorite of the favorites because I don't think I've stopped ODing on marshmallow and everything else that's in this tea since I bought it until next time stay smiley bye thanks for watching this video guys if you liked it then be sure to thumbs up subscribe and share it with all your friends um and until next time stay smiley bye